Welcome to the Mandy Fab YouTube channel. We are here in Merthyr with Ben Purser of the Blues. Welcome Ben, thanks for coming in. What is the name of your team first off? Uh, we are Dynamo Chicken Kiev. Love it. So, Dynamo Chicken Kiev, how are we doing at the moment in the league? Uh, in the league we are third um, overall, but we are undefeated uh, on the pitch. Undefeated on the pitch, so is that... For the cup and the league, mate. So, so is pitch scores better than scale scores at the moment? Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. getting knocked down a few times on the scales. Uh, reds are killing it, uh, blacks are killing it on the scales. Um, but we are undefeated on the pitch since the start of Merthyr Van Oh, brilliant. We're in season two games. We had a, we had a cup league, and yeah. then we're in season two. I have no idea. We've got four, four or five games left to the end of the season. Brilliant. So. Um, so, you were telling me before we turned the camera on, one of the OGs, you were in the WhatsApp group before the league even started. Yeah. How was it inviting you know, seeing people and seeing the league growing and things like that from that point of view? Yeah, no, uh, so it's been pretty epic really. Um, I joined, saw something on Facebook, uh, wife said, you're fat, go do this. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'll take that on the chin. I like football. Um, so signed up um, and then Alex sort of led it for a bit and then we had a start date we came I think there were eight or nine of us on the first first week something like that uh, and there was a photo of just the sort of first group on that first day and then two or three weeks in there was like 20 30 people and it's just it's grown really quickly it must be great to see it obviously being in the, the whatsapp group with just a couple of them and then all of a sudden there's an influx of people and just brings the league a little bit better for you yeah and just yeah. More banter, more people, just gives that a little bit more of competition and stuff as well. Yeah, it's really good to see it grow because, like I say, you get a lot more competition. Um, it's good to see the sort of teams grow and know that, that you're, you're part of something that's growing. Um, yeah. Is that something that helped you with the weight loss, having more people come in? Yeah, I think so. I think it was it's really important to be part of a like a smaller team. I think the little team community helps, yeah. helps you. It's sort of there's a lot of times when I'm staring at a burger and I'm thinking about uh, not going over on the scales on a Friday for, for the team. Um, but I think definitely being part of something bigger is, is a big motivation as well. Yeah. Um, and you need someone to beat. Yeah. We did um, 1v1 competitions and stuff. And that was really, that was a really good competition in Newport when we were so it, it was a good one. So that's something that uh, can hopefully bring you a nice again. You're competing against each other who's weight during the week. Yeah. And that was uh, really good as well. Um, so how have you found this so far? So from the start, I know you said obviously people coming in and stuff. Competitive on the pitch, like you said, obviously you said we're in competitively on the pitch. How have you found the setup with the scales and the pitch and things like that? I think it's really good. I think the way that the um, way the scales work and the pitch is, is really nicely done because you can go out and score a hat trick, but you've you've really got to kill it on the scales. And actually, like um, I play quite a lot of football. Uh, I'm a bit older now, and I'm really here to lose weight. So the fact that it's always pushing me, motivating me to lose weight, and score the points in in the changing rooms. Uh, is a real positive, um, but I, I love the fact that it's competitive out there. I don't think I'd, I don't think I'd perform on the scales if I wasn't playing football as well. If it wasn't sort of combined. Yeah, it's a good combination. Um, what about yourself? Personal achievements? So you percentage wise, we had some percentages and things like that, or yeah. So I've hit five. Uh, I hit five in the cup, I think, and then I hit ten to start this league. Uh, I'm trying to get fifteen in the next five weeks I'm at about 12% um, and I don't know if Alex, I think I'm, I'm just about to drop under 100 kilos which for me is quite a big deal, I don't know why, it just feels like a big deal because it's like a marker. Setting those goals though, those little targets, like obviously this is where I want to be, this is my first target it is always good so yeah. um, giving yourself that, that first target to hit you know, obviously in the five and the ten is great, but then that little thing of like they wanted it. This is where I want to be to start with, and then looking to move on. I think that's a good, again, good motivator. Something else to motivate you as well as your team and stuff like that. 
Um, you know, I, I see these big sort of milestones and they sort of 10 kilos. And yeah. I know that's quite a big one, so the, the percentages help get me through that, I think. Yeah. Um, so obviously, currently your target is obviously the 15% then get in the top. Is hitting 15% getting you under 100 or is it under 100? I'll be under 100 by 15. By 15, oh, amazing. Um, what sort of standout moments have there been so far? I know obviously it must be brilliant seeing everyone come in, but since you've been here from the very start, what have you seen and you thought, oh, that was brilliant, or I can't believe they've done that, something absolutely ridiculous or whatever, it's like your favourite moment that something's happened in uh, the Mountain Fat Murtha? Uh, maybe, um, is it Tanas? I don't know what you call it in South Wales, but Al made. Right. Al, Al volunteered. I, I don't think anyone even asked him. He just he just jumped in the goal. He was like, "Come on, kick the ball at my ass," uh, <laughs> and everyone did. Um, that was pretty good. I think it was someone's birthday. I can't remember, but uh, that's definitely a highlight. Um, but it's uh, back to back week to week. Like, I just I, I love playing football. So you know, it's it's that. It's every little every goal, every neat pass, every little achievement is all sort of builds up. I'm taking the ball out of Well, yeah, that's, I mean, I know from uh, Newport and other leagues and people I speak to, that's usually reserved as like the punishment, you know, for like if you put on weight or whatever, or if you let the team down or whatever. I think, I think it's a reward. Here, but um, apparently, Merth is here as a, yeah. as a treat. It's, <laughs> it's, it's something to look forward to Friday night. I off. think, yeah, I'm I'm gonna think gonna I'll, I'll hit a percentage goal. Yeah. He, just, he just jumped in. Yeah, I'm going to get a football kick in <laughs> my ass. Just jumping goal. Yeah, just jumping the goal. Yeah. Um, Could have kept it short something. <laughs> if now you're speaking to someone, they come up to you and say, oh, I want to lose a bit of weight. I don't know what I need to do. Have you heard you do this man be fat? Is it worth doing? What would you say to that person? Yeah, it's definitely worth doing. I mean, like, um, I spent quite a bit of time just thinking, oh, I want to lose weight, I want to lose weight. Um, I tried little diets and things, but I didn't really know what to do. And there isn't, it's not like um, Al doesn't push it down his system and say, like, oh, you've got to have no, uh, what, uh, no people who can't have certain sins and stuff, is it? There's different systems. Slimming and World and Weight Watchers and yeah, there's loads of different ones out there. And it's just it's just straightforward. It's just track what you eat, eat what you want. Make sure you sort of hitting your daily goals, uh, come in and weigh and enjoy it, and aim for a little loss all the time. Just be consistent. Um, so I, yeah, in terms of uh, helping you lose weight, it's been perfect. Yeah, it's a massive one when you like you said. Changing little things. What sort of things have you changed in your diet or your activity and stuff like that to achieve your goals? So activity is a difficult one because, like my job, basically. Mm -hmm. um, but um, what I've changed quite a bit is when I'm out on the road working and stuff. I'll, I'll really think about what I eat and try and yeah. manage that because it's it's so easy to pack in two thousand calories in a petrol station. Do you know what I mean? You just all you're trying to do actually is eat. You're not trying to eat badly. Yeah. You're just trying to get something that tastes reasonable. Um, so controlling what I'm eating when I'm out about on the road. Um, and then at home, I think portion sizes come down a little bit, just because I'm a bit more conscious um, when I track it of what portions are, even if it's a healthy meal, just scaling back a bit. Have you been surprised by how much things are if you track like weight and stuff? Have you weighed foods and stuff like that? Because I found that I'm a bit surprised if I weigh like a portion of rice and I think, oh, that's not very much, but it's actually quite high in calories. And you're like, oh, okay, this is where I've been going wrong previously, is that I'd have a mountain of rice with some curry, but actually I should be having quite a smaller portion or whatever to, yeah. to suit myself for that day. Yeah, that was definitely a thing I think at the start. I don't know, you get you kind of get quite used to eyeballing your portions after a bit, but yeah, definitely at the start, there was a, quite a bit of weighing went on. Yeah, I always found it was sort of a massive shock when, like, Weighs and think, oh, it's only a couple of grams, and then you put yeah. it on a scale, and it's like, oh, actually, that's uh, that's that's all my calories for the day if I eat all of that. So let's you know be a little bit clever or whatever with it. But um, no, that's amazing. Um, so doing really well at the moment on the pitch. Scales, a little bit of improvement for the team, or just the other teams are bit, absolutely uh, smashing it because I know you bit, said bit that, both, bit both. yeah. So a little bit of uh, come on, the Blues, we can. Do this year, 
couple of uh, good skills wins in your back, innit? Um, pitched the undefeated since the start of Man Utah, so you won the cup there. Did it all, was it yeah, the scales? Yeah, we were best on the scales in the cup as well. Brilliant, excellent. Um, gonna have to go because you'll do on the pitch any second. Um, we've been here at Merthyr, absolutely lovely ground. So if you are looking at this and you're thinking about joining Man Utah and you're in the area, Merthyr Town is a fantastic place to come. Um, ben, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. And um, we'll catch you again next time.